Hi, this is Doogie again. In this video I'm going to talk about a couple new features. The first one is the preload button. Now you can find this button in the guide tabs. You will notice them in the bottom left corner. What this button will do is it's going to go through each guide in the list and automatically take all the steps that you have already done and display how many percent that you have complete. Just like when I select this guide, the walking guide, it says I've completed 99%. Normally you would have to click each guide individually to check how many percent you have completed but with the preload button it's just going to go through every single guide and show you how many percent you have completed. Now let me show you again with the dungeon guide. As you can see I haven't selected any guide yet and I click the preload button. Now it will show me all the guides that I've completed or partially completed. The last feature I'm going to show you is the memory setting. Now this is an advanced feature. This feature is really only for people who don't like to use the target button or the model viewer and wish to run it in the lowest possible memory setting. There are three features that you can remove to reduce your memory. The first one is the model database which will allow you to display the model for a lot of steps in the guide. The second one is the NPC name database which is required to display the NPC name the model viewer and it's also required for the target button to work. And the last one is the quest level database, which is required to color code every single quest in our guide and also display the, the quest level. Without that database, the guide won't be able to tell you if the quest is green, gray or yellow. With these database options enabled, the add-on will use more memory. The good news is that you will barely notice any difference in performance. That is unless you're using a ton of add-ons in your game and you wish to reduce the add-on memory usage as low as possible. Well now the option is there. All you have to do is disable it and click apply memory setting and wait for the game to reload. Once you complete the reload you can check your memory setting again and you'll be pleased to see that the add-on memory used by Doogie Guides is drastically reduced. The collect garbage button will clean up the memory immediately by removing the trash in the memory and it might free up a little bit of extra memory. With all the database disabled, you will now notice that the model viewer button is gone and the target button will disappear as well and will no longer work, but you will reduce the memory usage of Doogie Guys by about 50%. Again, I really don't think you will notice any different at all by disabling these database to reduce your memory. However, we don't want to force you to use something you don't want and penalize your computer by taking up some of its memory. So the option is there for you to disable it. Otherwise, I highly recommend you leave the database on because you will miss out on some of the best features. Okay, and that's it for this video. This is Doogie, and as always, thank you for watching.